Alright, so in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a piece of World War II trench art. I know it's a little interesting because most of the trench art that you see uh, comes from World War I. Of course, that's where it actually gets its name from. Uh, trench art basically developed, you know, in the trenches during World War I. Soldiers really didn't have a whole lot to do, so they would use the materials around them uh, to make things. Uh, they would take, you know, artillery shell or artillery casings and, you know, use them to make ashtrays, or they would use bullets to make letter openers, things like that. And, of course, that practice did extend in the later wars, but never to the extent it did in World War I. And this is actually a piece of World War II era trench art. Uh, this is a piece of American trench art. It's a belt buckle, as you can see here. It has two bullets, which I believe are probably from an M1 Grand. Uh, the buckle itself, as you can see on the back there, says solid brass made in the USA. And in the center here, we have a quarter, which I know the date's a little hard to make out because the three doesn't look very good, but it's actually 1943. So right in the middle of World War II. And yeah, it has this gray paint all over it, which I believe is Battleship Gray. Uh, really don't know a whole lot about the buckle. I got it down in Texas at an antique store. Based off of the you know Battleship Gray paint, I'm assuming this was probably a naval piece. Uh, whether it was in the Pacific or... That uh, was probably honestly in the Pacific, just based on how much the Navy was around there. You know, the uh, European theater was a much more land-based campaign. But yeah, this is something a soldier just made, you know, help him pass the time. You know, something to be proud of, a little souvenir from the war. And, uh, yeah, it's just a really unusual piece. Uh, you don't, like I said, see a lot of World War II era trench art. So... Um, yeah, I'm going to post a few pictures of this at the end of the video, like I always do, and uh, thank you all for watching. 